Volgate 688. Good morning. To those of you worried about my sleeping situation, I just finished editing my vlog this morning, uploaded it, got everything done. Had a great time in Versailles yesterday. I was exhausted, I, because I didn't get any sleep the night before, and then went and rode through Versailles all day, hardly ate anything. And uh, yeah, got the first like maybe 30, 40 minutes worth of work done last night. I was just like, nope, I'm done, just went to bed. Great decision, slept really well. Got this done, now I need to eat uh, actual food. I've had a banana, that's about it. And I'm debating making coffee or getting coffee. I was gonna go down and do a, a Space Invader hunt with Oliver G from uh, the Earful Tower, but he's a little bit busy. I feel like I need to stay because today, supposedly, my new refrigerator is coming and I thought we could make a little bit of progress at least on the Room de Chateau situation next door. We'll get to that, we'll talk about that here in a second, but for the moment, I need to go find myself some food because I'm really hungry. Uh, and also have a stack of these to send. I've, I'm gonna be able to send most, most of the patron thank yous. These are the ones that aren't getting sent yet because I don't have enough stickers. I actually ran out of stickers, Gustav stickers, but those apparently just shipped as well. So we should be on top of things very quickly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got a series of stickers at this point. This is the heart face sticker you can get if you do one of the bike tours. Just make sure that you actually reference me when you sign up. Apparently, like, nobody's actually saying that I sent them, uh, but a lot of people are coming from the tours. You can always send them an email afterwards if you haven't already, just to be like, hey. Otherwise, I don't get a referral fee and you don't get a sticker, but you know, no big deal if you don't want one of those. Uh, then there's the Gustav sticker. This is a thank you for patrons who've stuck around for at least six months. I was wearing my Gustav shirt yesterday, which I actually need to take off the store today. So if you want one of these, you're gonna have to stick around Patreon for six months. And if you stick around for a year, you get one of these bad boys. And I did send out a handful of these already as well. I think they're really fun. We're, we'll do more space invader stuff for soon. Anyways, today is a day that I need to spend probably cleaning up around here a little bit and getting ready because tomorrow, I leave for Buritz and I'm very excited. Pushan's already been there for a little while and if you follow Pushan on Instagram, his stories have been very tantalizing and I can't wait to go see this place myself. So with that, I'm gonna find lunch and then hopefully this delivery shows up soon. We can get this, I should probably actually start cleaning this up before they get here. Let's start cleaning this out. I think the delivery guys are on their way, so, you know, prepping this part, then we'll do this part. I mean, well, I think they should be here in a minute. New fridge. Rob, assuming the fridge actually shows up and I get it in here, preemptively, thank you. I'll thank you again afterward. Everything smells funny when you take it out of this fridge. It's time for this fridge to go. <laughs> you think I believe it? A fantastic tale like that? I imagine you're You can tell this thing's been here for a long time just by pulling it back a little bit. It's left its mark. Bonjour. C'est uh, le frigo? Oui. Super, c'est juste ici. Merci à vous. So thankfully, Paris actually has a service where they'll take the refrigerator away for free. It's kind of hoping the guy would help me move it out to the street, but it's my fault. I didn't really ask. We were in the middle of doing stuff, and then I felt kind of bad. I don't know. It's, I'm an idiot. He had a hand cart. So now I get to walk this all the way to the street. But I uh, registered online. It's called Les Encombrants. So if you live in Paris, you can actually just say, hey, I'm gonna, I need to leave some stuff out on the street. They'll give you a date and a time that you can do it, and you just put it out. So thankfully, they can do it tomorrow morning. I'm just going to go ahead and take this straight out there. This little fridge is actually already saving me some space. Then we got to get to, like, it's going to be a sweaty day. That's why I changed shirts into something I'm more willing to sweat in. Let's go. <laughs> The 
door obviously was easy. I got that off with a key. Uh, I don't have a screwdriver big enough for these screws though, and these screws aren't nearly that loose. So, I'm carrying it with uh, the help of the radiator on the back a little bit. Not the best feeling on the fingers, but you know, better than, I don't know, whatever the alternative is. <sighs> Around the stuff I have to take down to the garage. Then I gotta take like all of that down. <sighs> <sighs> The majority of this is like old toys and plastic bags. And one thing that was interesting, if you've noticed the wine that's back here, the old wine that's all you know, old and poorly stored, this one got stored, uh, this, this one popped open apparently some time ago. So there's a little bit in there, but most of it's right here. I guess that's one way to stain wood. These shelves are gonna be amazing. I found a couple things in here that are useful, like a uh, stepping stool, old stepping stool. And this old case is super cool. The only problem is that it's got like some really old, crusty, very, very crumbly foam inside of it that I don't want to inhale, so I'm gonna have to get rid of that somehow. But we've emptied this half of the shelves. I'm gonna put this to use today, but not before we put all these toys away. Like, you know, I mean, this is gross. I'm just gonna get rid of this. But check out like there's an old Puzzle, I think this is like a battleship puzzle. And where's moi? Which is like, where's Waldo? But for like English athletes, I guess. Anyways, let's move this stuff downstairs. <laughs> it wasn't the only one. I found more spilled wine and it's still wet. Not like super wet, but like. Kind of like artsy, craftsy wet. I have to figure this out. I gotta move all this wine out of here. It's, it's, it's all bad anyways. I've uh, dusted, swept, now I'm gonna put stuff together. This, the other, the second half, I'll take care of that in the future. This is enough for one day. I, mean, I just wanted to make some real progress today. I mean, come on. I've been really, really far behind on this one. And you'll notice that now that the wine is all gone, I have some space to put some of these back in here. Drop 20. Oh man. Room to Chateau, this is progress. Full-time creative, definitely on our way. We're like halfway there. Selling Agnar's box. This is we're the farthest away from doing this, think of anything. But this one, 10,000 subscribers. We are very close to that. Here's hoping that uh, we'll pull this one, we'll put this one in my room when we get to like 96 or 9700. It's not gonna it's not gonna be long now. That's crazy. Anyways, there are the gold bottles, coffee. I want to move the coffee station to my room. The other thing is there's no ventilation in here, so I can't really cook in here, but I'll store everything in here for now. I think the toaster oven should be okay to have in here. Microwave's obviously okay to have in here, so is the fridge. The hot plate and the kettle, not so much. Anyways, this is starting to feel really good. We want to definitely get rid of this, and then we'll start getting even more organized as we go. I also changed it into shorts, because I figured if I'm going to be wearing a shirt that I want to sweat in, why am I wearing pants? Uh, I also really wanted to go for a run today. I just did a lot of stairs carrying all this stuff. That's no excuse. Let's go for a run. Four miles at a terrible pace. Turns out it's a lot harder to run after you've been running up and down stairs all day, uh, carrying stuff. Whew, I'm hungry, which comes as no surprise, I realize, but. Ah, 
Just a couple more things before I uh, finish up. One, I'm gonna do a meetup on Saturday for those of you that are in Paris. Haven't decided on a location yet, but I think about seven o'clock. Why not? 7 p.m. on Saturday, probably at Pan Am. I think we get there at seven, we should be able to get enough space, but try to be on time if you're gonna make it just because we do need to, you know, like it's a really popular spot. It's it pretty busy. And they do serve food, beer, wine, liquor, Milk. I hope I don't know that they have milk. Ugh. The other thing was, of course, thank you, Rob, for the fridge. That's that was a great motivator to move some stuff out of there. And obviously, I had to get rid of that giant fridge. So glad we could get that out of the way. And I feel like there's one more thing that I'm forgetting. Oh, if you want to come to meetups, if you're looking for like live edits, like I'm thinking about doing a live edit tonight, I tend to announce that stuff on Twitter or update do updates on Twitter because it's the easiest way to do it. So I think I mentioned this before, but same thing if you want to make sure you get notifications that my videos have uploaded, whatever else. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Gianna Boat. And that's how you know for sure, like times, locations for meetups and I don't know, random stuff like that. It's great. I love Twitter. And with that, I'm gonna like cool down and shower and stop being gross. And I'll see you on the live edit, hopefully. And of course, I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for some traveling because it's time to get out of Paris. Who wants to get out of Paris? It's good to get out of Paris every once in a while. Get like fresh air, which is really important. And also you get to come back to Paris, which is really exciting. See you tomorrow. If you're looking for like live chats, 